A lot of people complain that they have to charge their phones twice a day or more, and sometimes the battery drains quickly even when they're not using the phone much. But what they don't know is that the problem isn't always the battery itself. Nope! There are so many things running in the background without you noticing, and they're completely useless. All they do is drain your battery and slow down your phone. In this video, I'll walk you through these things one by one and show you how to disable them with simple steps. After that, you'll notice a huge difference in both your phone's speed and battery life. First, the nearby device scanning feature. Your phone is constantly scanning for nearby Bluetooth devices, even if Bluetooth is turned off. That means as long as you're walking around, the phone is activating Bluetooth in the background and searching for headphones, printers, or other devices. How to disable it? Open Settings. Scroll down and tap Google. Select All Services, then tap Device Sharing. Go into Devices. Turn off the option that lets your phone search for nearby devices. Second, believe it or not, your phone is always searching for nearby printers to print stuff, even if you've never printed anything from your phone in your life. To disable this feature, open Settings. In the search bar at the top, type Printing. You'll find something called Default Print Service. Tap on it. Turn it off. Third, a feature that literally spies on you. Digital well-being. This feature records everything you do on your phone. How many times you unlock your phone. How much time you spend on each app and it gives you detailed usage reports. But honestly, most of us don't even look at these reports, and just having this feature enabled slows down your phone and drains the battery. How to turn it off? Open Settings. Scroll down and select Digital Well-Being and Parental Controls. Tap the three dots in the top right corner and choose Go to Usage Data Access. Find the app named Digital Wellbeing, tap on it. Disable the permission. Fourth, useless notifications. Every app you install asks for permission to send notifications, and some of them you don't even use. These notifications run in the background and drain the battery. The fix. Open settings. In the search bar, type notifications. Choose App Notifications. Turn off notifications from apps you don't care about, like Galaxy Store or unused system apps. Only keep important ones like WhatsApp or Gmail. Fifth, don't let the battery reach 0%. You might have heard this old advice. Let the battery drop to 0% and then charge to 100%, right? That may have worked for old phones like the Nokia 3310. But for modern smartphones using lithium-ion Li-ion batteries, it's actually harmful. These batteries are designed for 300 to 500 full charge cycles, from 0% to 100%. If you keep letting your phone drop to 0% every time, it shortens the battery's lifespan. The best thing you can do is charge your phone when it hits 20% and stop charging at around 80% or 90%. This will keep your battery healthy for much longer. Sixth, wallpaper and apps. If your phone's wallpaper is animated or has high-res images, it consumes more battery. Try to keep your wallpaper simple and remove any animations running in the background. Also, watch your screen brightness, reduce it, or enable auto brightness if your phone supports it. This will help save a lot of battery. Seventh, turn off GPS. Unless you're using apps like Uber or Maps, turn off your GPS. It runs in the background and drains your battery even when you're not using it. Eighth, stay away from heat and sunlight. High temperatures can really damage your phone's battery, so don't leave your phone under direct sunlight and avoid charging it on the car dashboard. Heat weakens the battery and can even damage your screen, causing fading or color distortion. 
Ninth, use the original charger. The one that came in the box with your phone. That's the best charger to use. If you've lost it or are somewhere without it, use a high quality charger, not the cheap ones you find for a few bucks. Avoid those super cheap ones. They can damage the battery. Try to use chargers labeled 5 volts, 2 amps to avoid harming the battery. And if the charger outputs more than 20 watts, like 33 watt fast chargers, be cautious. It could harm your phone's charging circuit. If you follow these tips, you'll notice a huge improvement. Your phone will stay charged longer, it will run faster and smoother. You'll reduce battery drain and extend its lifespan.